Now here in Baltimore City, voters overwhelmingly chose independence and accountability for elected leaders. Fox 25's Mackenzie Frost explains what it means and has reaction from the mayor. From a truly independent watchdog to implementing term limits for some elected leaders, Baltimore City voters made their voices very clear on Election Day, and now it appears as if some city council members are poised to make it easier for them to earn a pension. Good morning, good morning. Baltimore City voters turning out to the polls, casting their ballots for independence. I is for independent advisory board. Question I, creating a truly independent oversight board of the city's inspector general, the watchdog, rooting out waste, fraud, and corruption in the halls of city government. If you want a strong inspector general, if you want a strong watchdog for the city, they have to be independent. Instead of politicians overseeing the IG, the board will be made up of people from across Baltimore, passing with 86% of the vote and ballots are still being counted. This is a really exciting time in Baltimore City mm -hmm. uh, for independence. David Williams, taxpayer protection advocate, says all eyes are on Baltimore, and this time, it's a good thing. Right now, Baltimore City is the envy of the country. In the final days leading up to the election, Council President Nick Mosby changing the rules of the game, introducing a bill changing the city's pension requirements, making elected leaders eligible for a payout after eight years in office instead of 12. While the city's first responders must work 25 years to become eligible for a pension. The council president tying the bill to question K, implementing term limits for the leaders. As council members, as elected officials, uh, if the citizens of Baltimore vote that they don't want you to be in office for 16 or 20 or 24 years, I think it is prudent of us to be in alignment with where uh, the motivation of the city is. Voters overwhelmingly telling Baltimore City electeds they don't want them serving more than two terms in the same office. Question K, passing with 72% of the vote. And because the council fast-tracked their pension plan in about three weeks, the entire council now poised to pass the bill. This is the most self-serving piece of legislation that I have seen. Fox 45 News asking some of the members who supported the bill just this week why. I work hard in the city. For my constituents. Councilman Robert Stokes not shy about his desire to draw a pension. I bring money to my constituents. Only job I have. Stokes' claim remains in question. Fox 45 News finding a slew of bills and resolutions with Stokes' name attached, mostly as a co sponsor, and the majority of the bills oversight hearings. Stokes is the same councilman who called an investigative hearing into ghost student and grade changing news uncovered by Fox 45's Project Baltimore, only not to ask city schools about it. Why not you ask the hard question? Because I'm setting the tone. My tone is to be able to talk about school performance. Stokes also refusing to attend Fox 45's town hall held in his district, talking about crime, which was one of the most dangerous council districts in all of Baltimore. And now, if approved by the council, he will earn a pension. Right now, Stokes earns nearly $74,000 a year. We sent him a couple of questions via email Wednesday asking, what bills have you sponsored and gotten adopted that impact your constituents directly? What money are you referring to when you say you, quote, bring money to your constituents? The councilman ignoring the questions, refusing to provide more details. Meanwhile, Mayor Brandon Scott issuing a lengthy statement about Election Day, but he doesn't mention question K and term limits set to become reality. Fox 45 News, though, catching up with the mayor in South Baltimore. Listen, I supported term limits and voted term limits twice, so for me, we know that the voters have spoken. Uh, I wish we would have made that decision to have term limits four years ago and before that, when I voted on it before that, and now we just have to make sure that all the other regulations fall in line with it. Mayor Brandon Scott says he hasn't had time to look at the pension plan, so it's unclear if he will sign it. It's unclear when that pension plan will be up for a third reader vote inside City Hall, but it's clear Baltimore City voters want to send a message to their elected leaders, saying that they want accountability, transparency, and independence from their elected leaders. In Baltimore, Mackenzie Frost, Fox 45 News. We want to know what you think. Should elected city leaders give themselves pensions after eight years instead of the current 12 years? So far, 91% of you say keep it at 12 years. Go to foxbaltimore.com, click on the Pulse tab to cast your vote.